She said that if I took off my shirt, she'd take off her shirt. <laughs> Why did you decide to go on this date? A date? Is it a date? Georgia, wrap me in you. Is that the lyrics? Bro, I am so motion sick. I've like rotated three times now for this video. About 40 million of you guys saw the first time of how I met Mona at the airport. <laughs> and you guys are really interested in us meeting again. Recently, I was just in Germany, spent a week with Mona, and all you guys are wondering what happened. I thought it would be a really cool idea to just compile all the videos together in case some of you guys haven't seen it. Or just make it easy for you guys to watch through and then finally conclude what happened with Mona. Uh, currently, we are in Macedonia. Turn the freaking camera, bro. What the frick? <laughs> this is Lake Orid. It's really gorgeous. We're doing something really cool here. I can't wait to show you guys, but that's for a future video. This was a very special experience for me because you know I make these videos to kind of make my life feel more like a movie. And I'm glad that you guys are interested. So I really hope you guys enjoy the video. Cue intro. I've always dreamed of meeting a girl at the airport, but trust me, I've been on hundreds of flights. It never happens until last year. This is my new friend. Hi there. What is your name? You know those movies where the main character happens to brush up on a sexy stranger at the airport and that's the start to their super romantic love story? I've been on Tinder seven years. Haven't had much luck in dating. It's tough when you're short and everyone calls you a nice guy. I don't want to be a nice guy. I want to be sexy, like a tiger. Rawr. The other day, I was at the Berlin airport when I sat down next to this beautiful gal at Move and Pick Cafe. I conveniently had two sandwiches and I was going to offer her one. Before I could, she asked me if I knew where the nearest smoke room was. To be honest, I didn't think I'd ever see her again, but I did sit next to this other group of German people on the plane. When we were talking about German things like Schnitzel, Oktoberfest, the Aryan Ring. However, on my layover to Iceland, I happened to be walking right next to the same block long girl I met in Berlin. We are rushing oh, on the way to New York. This is my new friend. There. Say, what is your name? Mona. Mona. What's your name? Philip. Hi. All right. Do you want to hang out in New York? Yeah, I have to go to D. I am also going to D. Okay, yeah. D32. For real, we can actually. Yeah. All right, what's your Instagram? <laughs> Mona texted me that night and I agreed to be her official tour guide to New York. Mona's actually from Germany and was taking a train all the way from Virginia to New York to see me. Which made me pretty nervous. I don't really go on fancy dinner dates often because I live in a car. Normally it's just me and Jill. She said that if I took off my shirt, she'd take off her shirt. <laughs> I'm so funny. It was Mona's first time in New York, so I wanted to make sure it was perfect. I have no idea why I decided to dress up like a freaking rice farmer. My friend Nick is a dating expert here. Yeah. Any advice for me? Tell her about how big your dick is. That'll be a tough lie. <laughs> Tell him about the two-incher and see yeah. what happens. <laughs> the two-inch punisher. <laughs> Rate my date fit. I love it, man. Gotta have balls to wear that. I love it. It's good. Well, like that's because I'm just such a working man. <laughs> <laughs> You're so blue collar. Also, I think it's uh, very you, so if she doesn't like it, she wasn't gonna like you anyway. <laughs> Nick's advice was really just to be yourself. There's no point in playing a character because I want her to like me for me. Let's Are you ready? Go. <laughs> I made a reservation for an omakase restaurant, which is basically like fancy sushi that doesn't come on a conveyor belt. Hey, Steve. <laughs> Wanna go there again? We got along at dinner, so I invited her onto a rooftop in New York City, which ended up leading into one of the most awkward moments of my life. Hello, airport girl. Hi. Why did you decide to go on this date? A date? Is it a date? I mean, hang out. <laughs> <laughs> because you're fun and interesting, uh, I wanted to know more about you. Mona and I decided to hang out the next day. I had this entire itinerary planned out of all these iconic things to see in New York City. And we only did one thing. We ended up being goofballs jumping around the Brooklyn Bridge for hours. We had a small dance competition at the Brooklyn Bridge. I tried the WAP dance. The hanging out with Mona was super cool because I haven't had anyone match my energy like that in a long time. <laughs> I just said love you say. <laughs> Should I jump? <laughs> <laughs> Not on my watch, baby girl. Not too bad, right? Oh wait, this is actually sick. <laughs> and it's not bad, baby. <laughs> I'm actually surprised you did it. By the end of the day, our time was up and she had to fly back to Berlin. No problem. Such a gentleman. I'm the wrong car? <laughs> After this meet cute, we wanted to meet up somewhere around the world, but probably because of my terrible planning skills, we just could never make it happen. But 10 months later, I made the video and it kind of went viral. So freaking viral that it actually got on Icelandic news. Recently, my dream company asked me to go dog sledding in the Arctic Circle. And Finland is really not that far away from Germany. So I sent her a quick message basically saying,
saying that I'd come visit her in Berlin soon. I was currently with my friend Anya, and she told me that if you're gonna meet a girl, you should probably clean up a bit. In the Arctic Circle, I kind of look like a bit of a caveman. So after getting a fresh cut, Anya told me that she'd help me pick out some new clothes. Usually, if I don't go to an Asian barber, they mess me up really badly because Asian hair just grows kind of odd. But luckily, I found this Vietnamese hair salon. I really hate that my facial hair grows like this. But not gonna lie, I was looking hella cute afterwards. As many of you guys know, I live out on a backpack, so I only own about three shirts. Anya was kind enough to let me try on some of her clothes. I, I think this is a bit much. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't vibing with it, so I thought I'd just go and be myself. Alright, we're about to board to Europe. Holy shit, we are over an hour late. Now, I've been single since 2017. That's seven years, y'all. And this time, my dating life has been pretty casual. I never really believed I could find someone long term because, well, I'm traveling the world. But I thought, hey, after everything I've been through this year, why not put myself out there? And I know this kind of sounds stupid. Me traveling all the way to Germany for a girl I barely knew. But hey, guys do stupid things for girls all the time. And I got to spend a week with basically a stranger. Smile. This is my first dinner. This is my 700 dinner. <laughs> This is huge. Lona taking us to German things. I feel like I'm getting the full German experience right now. <laughs> like how you're already there. <laughs> See you. See you. I think that some of you guys think that I am desperate for flying all the way to Berlin for a girl, and that's because I am. Guys, I've been on Tinder for seven years. Do you know what it's like to be single for seven years? I can't even go on dates anymore and tell people because it sounds like such a red flag. I mean, I feel like I have a really good reason. I've been traveling. This week with Mona was super cool. Crazy enough, I fell in love with Berlin. I, in fact, loved it so much, I ended up actually renting an apartment for a month, and I'm now trying to figure out how to get a visa. With Mona, she is one of the coolest girls. I know the plot is really good, but I'll just come out and say it right now. This is not a love story. It's more of a reality check. Things didn't work out. I felt like I had so many intense, stressful things happening this year that I just wanted to fall for someone, to feel love, to have someone make me feel happy or even just comfortable in this really tough time in my life. I kind of felt like Luke, so much love to give. Sometimes you just have to accept that no matter how cute the story is, if there's no compatibility, things just won't work out. All right, goodbye, German girl. Goodbye. <laughs> Take care, love. Take care. See you soon. I'm blaming this on y'all because that video got over like 30 million views and you guys hyped us up so much saying we are perfect for each other. It kind of blinded me to the fact that just because we have chemistry on camera doesn't mean we're compatible at all. Mona's super lovely, but we're just really different people. <sighs> I feel like being single for seven years is kind of a red flag in its own.